What's good people? So I'm gonna be talking about training during COVID, during lockdown. Um, I know like it's fucking, it's horrible. Like, you know, a lot of the gyms are closed. Like We can't fucking go train, but um, yeah, I know like a lot of you guys still wanna work out. You still wanna um, get fit. You know, you still wanna stay fit. So I'm gonna be telling you um, how I've been training during lockdown. So yeah guys, um, you can probably guess what I'm going to say, but um, yeah, calisthenics, fancy word for body weight um, exercises. Yeah guys, um, you know, you can do body weight exercises anywhere. You can do it in your room, you can do it in the park, you can do it anywhere, in the toilet. <laughs> anywhere, you know what I mean? Um, you don't need any equipment. And I've said this already guys, um, you can get in great shape with, just by training with your own body weight. Um, except for legs though um, for legs you need to lift weights to get big legs um, I think anyway but you can actually build decent legs with just um, you know using your own body weight um, you know I have a few videos on my channel a few like body weight workouts on my channel so uh, go check it out I'll actually leave a link um, to one of them at the end of this video so and um, click it so uh, what exercises should you be doing so yeah um, there's lots of uh, for like your upper body, um, push-ups, you know, there's dozens of push-up variations um, from beginner to advanced. Um, you know, there's a lot of them you can do um, and you can make them harder and harder and harder. Um, for your back, um, that's for your chest now, push-ups. Chest, push-ups will give you like, you know, great chest, um, you know, good um, triceps. Uh, for your back, um, pull-ups. Yeah, there's a lot of pull-up variations you can do from beginner to advanced. And, you know, just like the push-ups, you can make them harder and harder and harder. Um, you know, pull-ups give you a great back and, you know, great biceps. And they are, it actually works your core as well because your core has to work a lot when you're doing pull-ups and also even when you're doing push-ups. Legs, there's any kind of squat variation, um, like lunges, uh, deep squats, um, there's one exercise I've been working on, it's called a pistol squat. It's very hard. Um, it, it requires a lot of like balance and leg strength. But um, yeah, eventually I'll get it and I'll post when I get it. So be on the lookout for that guys. But yeah, um, you can actually build decent looking legs with just your own body weight. But eventually you would want to, um, you know, do like heavy squats, heavy leg press to really build mass and strength in your legs. But you can get away with just doing body weight if you're a beginner or if you just want to stay in shape. Also do like yoga. Yoga is actually really good. I've been doing yoga for the past like two months. I do it like, I, I either do yoga like first thing when I wake up or before I go to bed. And yeah, now I feel amazing. Like, you know, I really, yoga has been proven to like reduce stress. Um, it reduces a lot of pain, a lot of tightness um, in your body and your joints. Um, yeah, it's honestly amazing. And you can actually get a workout with yoga as well and so what I usually do is like maybe after a bodyweight workout um, I do like maybe f 10 to 15 minutes of yoga just to help me relax after or you can do some yoga before your workout to help you get looser so when you work out um, you actually feel better and also yoga um, helps you prevent any kind of injuries you know what I mean so um, you can actually try dancing Dancing is actually a form of working out, guys, um, if you guys don't know that. But, um, yeah, you can actually, um, you know, dancing, like, you, if you dance nonstop for, like, a good 30 to 40 minutes, you will get tired, you know what I mean? And you will break a sweat as well, you know? So dancing is dancing has actually been proven to help, like, um, you know, uh, help the release of endorphins in your body that help you feel good, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, you know, I, I dance, like... I can dance all day. I love dancing. Yeah, it makes me feel great. Um, yeah, it helps boost my mood. Helps me helps me reduce stress. And as I said, like it's actually a form of working out. Like it's a fun way to work out. You know. So what about cardio? Um, so yeah, um, you can just go for a jog outside. That's simple, easy. Or you could try um, some martial arts training. Um, martial arts is actually another great way to get in good shape. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know. After every boxing session I've been to, like I'm fucking knackered, you know, I'm wrecked, like, and yeah, no, you will, like, it's, it's, like, the training is very, very hard, like, that's why I respect a lot of, like, you know, the professional fighters, 
like professional boxers and professional MMA fighters, like the training they go through is very, very tough, you know, and it will get you in great shape. So you could try like, you know, some shadow boxing at home or um, you and your friends could try hitting some mitts together or something like that. Yeah, so that's it guys, um, no excuses. So yeah, um, you can train at home, you can do bodyweight workouts, um, you can dance, you can do some martial arts training or you can do some yoga. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, the gyms will be open again, I think in a few weeks. So, um, but in the meantime, that's what you can do to help you get in shape or maintain your shape. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, uh, leave a thumbs up comment down below share with any of your friends and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and thanks for watching go shorty it's your